questions today about why I personally have made the decision to be keeping a bikini. I would also like to clarify a few things, comments, hurtful things that have come up on my channel, so stay tuned. Yes, I know that one and one or two Ain't no problem that I can't see through As long as it's just me and you My crazy little bees Welcome back! So, the one question I get asked a lot is Why do you be keeping a bikini? And a lot of people think that my thumbnails or my titles are just clickbait. Uh, but no, you when you click on a title or a thumbnail of me in a bikini beekeeping, you're going to get me in a bikini beekeeping. I feel comfortable and confident enough as a beekeeper, and I feel comfortable and confident enough with my bees that I'm able to do it in a bikini. I also thought this channel would bring in viewers who aren't just beekeepers to so the entertainment factor and it would be a good channel for those who are starting out in beekeeping. My channel is for entertainment. My channel is to make others feel comfortable about beekeeping and my channel is to help beginner beekeepers. That's why I'm here. On my channel I like to show a lot about kind of how to start beekeeping what you need to get into beekeeping, some helpful tips, and I like to explain the basics for people. Because I know that people watching my channel may not have bees, but enjoy bees or want to support local beekeepers. So a few things I wanted to go over about my channel and some grief that I've received on my channel. Um, the one I think is a little bit ridiculous, which is, received probably 15 20 comments so far it's about my teeth and then I need braces or get a grill on those teeth you know what they're my teeth getting braces is a cosmetic surgery and it's the same thing as asking someone to get breast implants or liposuction something that's altering to their body and their appearance. The way my teeth are now doesn't affect uh, my oral health um, and I don't really care. And really it was just a matter of overcrowding teeth and these canines grew over top of my other teeth. Not a big deal. I don't care and I'm also Dutch, British and we're known to have bad teeth so who cares? Next thing on the docket is a lot of people say I'm not being professional by beekeeping in a bikini. Uh, I think that's a little bit ridiculous because I'm not going to wear a business suit when I'm beekeeping. I might wear a bee suit if I feel like the bees are a little bit aggressive that day. But being professional and beekeeping doesn't mean you have to dress a certain way or look a certain way. To be honest, I find that uh, more professional beekeepers don't wear bee suits because they, again, are confident. I personally feel confident and have learned from one of the greatest beekeepers in Canada, which is Paul Kelly. He works for the University of Guelph Honey Bee Research Center. My husband and I took a course there about beekeeping. During that course, the only protective equipment we were provided with was a veil. That's the only protective equipment we were given. And so from the very start, I was already beekeeping in shorts and a t-shirt, pants and a t-shirt, a tank top. And what I found is that wearing more clothing allows more areas for the bees to crawl up in and sting me. One place I get stung is my hands when I'm not being mindful of where I'm touching. And also I get stung a lot on um, in my clothes if a bee were to go into my clothing. I do feel that I am a professional beekeeper but I do feel that there's enough beekeepers out there with really relevant information. People that do it full time that have better information to give you. Another thing that I'm very passionate about and it 
hurts my feelings a bit when people say I'm not being professional or I don't know what I'm doing is I am the queen bee of the Georgian Bay Township Honey Bee Festival. I have started a festival to protect our pollinators. I have made Georgian Bay Township a bee city. I have helped to organize the first bee golf course in Canada. Hey, Orville. And I'm very proud of that. Oh my God, look. She's come down to the water to see me, or maybe I look like a big queen to her. <laughs> so, I hope that clarifies anything for you. Um, I'm not getting braces, so don't tell me to, don't ask me to. Screw off. Also, I am a professional beekeeper. I am confident and I know what I'm doing. Beekeeping in a bikini for me? I have converted five of my friends and family to become beekeepers as well. That's not the only thing you can do to support honeybees, support our pollinators. Um, being a beekeeper is just one little aspect of it. There's a bunch of different ways to protect our pollinators other than becoming a beekeeper. So you can obviously not use chemicals on your lawn or pesticides. Um, you can let your dandelions grow in the spring. You can be mindful of where bumblebees, honeybees, that sort of thing would live. You should have a contact for if you do see a swarm or anything like that, someone can, who can come and help you. Obviously don't pollute your waterways. Be a part of any programs in your area that protect wildlife, not just pollinators, but wildlife. You'll find they're all interconnected and they all help each other anyway. I'm a part of the turtle tally and the chorus frog watch, for example. So the number one thing I hear is I don't want to beekeep because I'm afraid of getting stung. When people see that I don't get stung very often, especially this dressed like this, then guess what? I've converted a few more people to at least be less afraid of bees and honeybees. In another way, you can support honeybees is to buy local honey. I can't stress that enough. And once you taste local honey, if you haven't had it already, you'll know how awesome and irreplaceable the real stuff is. Thank you so much for watching my channel, everyone. And thank you for listening to my big long speech. Take care, save the trees, save the bees. of Castle Hives. I won a $50 Amazon gift card and this is what I bought. <laughs>